Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was down 0.13% today, which isn't bad. Although if you look at kind of the broad market and all the different pieces, it was softer than that altogether. Uh, again, there were some parts that did well, you know, utilities and uh, real estate, uh, consumer staples. Those are all traditionally uh, defensive sectors. So those, you know, did actually went up today in those three cases, uh, at least the pieces on the S&P 500. So uh, interesting day. And, and there's a lot of reasons why we're seeing some softness here, in my opinion. Uh, one of the biggest as which is they're having to readjust kind of the growth growth expectations uh, for the third and fourth quarter, which was really, really high at one point in time. Uh, and so readjusting them back down is not a bad thing in the overall s scheme of things. I'd much rather see kind of a slow, steady growth. But the reason we're getting this slower growth is because we're having these situations. I, I have a friend who uh, has been selling cars for more than 25 years down in Southern California, says his dealership normally keeps six to 700 cars on hand in inventory. They currently have five. And he says, those are the ones nobody ever wants to buy. And so, you know, they're taking a lot of orders. So it's, the demand is still there. Uh, but they don't have the vehicles to sell. So, you know, he was telling me about this gentleman that bought a, a truck three months ago. He's been calling, you know, quite often trying to figure out, you know, when's he going to get his truck? And then finally it hit the factory, he calls the guy, says it's at the factory. And then they close the factory down. He says, usually, you know, they can get it out of the factory in just a couple of days. But this situation, they don't have the semiconductors to build the truck. Uh, my friend, my son went to a golf tournament up in Sacramento, you know, up and back. They were trying to go to different restaurants and uh, they were uh, close to it's inside the restaurant, only the you know drive through because of shortage of uh, staff. So you have 11 million open jobs, uh, which was announced today, which is the highest ever. Uh, and so really, you know, the Delta variant is sitting there as one of the problems for that. Uh, it looks like people aren't you know willing to take some of these jobs, especially a lot of the ones that were lost and that are currently open are in these kind of consumer facing situations where, you know, there's some risk of, count, of getting the virus. So that's keeping people, you know, uh, away from some of these jobs. So again, uh, still having a lot of growth, still uh, maybe less growth than what was expected. I don't see that as a bad thing. Uh, one of the biggest concerns that I really had in this particular environment was that things would grow just so fast and the, the reopening would be so strong uh, that we'd end up with all kinds of other issues, especially a higher inflationary environment, um, which is a little bit less likely here. There's still some inflationary pressure because of these shortages, uh, but hopefully those are somewhat temporary and come back down once the shortages are, are resolved. But uh, this is gonna take a while, right? It just is, you can see what's happening here. Uh, this is not going to be a straight line uh, in terms of this reopening and how it's going to work. It's going to be kind of bumpy and moving along. So good time to be very diversified. You know, yesterday it was all the growth stocks that did really well. They didn't do very well today. And today it is all of the value stocks that did well. So again, uh, that's been a theme uh, really, you know, for us since the middle of June, when we went into kind of the broad market uh, mixture and uh, that's worked out a lot better altogether. So, you know, the, the, the trends are not that strong, you know, at this point in time, mainly because it's very difficult to see what's going to be happening here with all these different components that are coming into play on this reopening. So look forward to seeing you uh, and talking to you uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much.